Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a Minecraft or private Minecraft server. So here I am at Minecraft.net and if you don't already have it, the newest uh, Minecraft server package then just come, go here and hit the download button and then you're going to select the Minecraft uh, server download okay and then you're just gonna you know drag that over to your desktop create a folder called private minecraft server and let me just delete all this stuff and you're gonna run this I'm gonna pause the video while it goes through this uh, setup process okay so it's completed uh, the setup process so I'm just gonna close out of that all right and now our next step is to go into the server.properties uh, right click it and click open with and then select your uh, note or your note notepad or your text editor you may not have notepad if you're using a Mac and in that case uh, if you are using a Mac you're gonna have to download the jar and obviously you're gonna have to have Java installed so open that file up and then where it says whitelist equals false you're gonna switch that to true and what this will do is it will prevent anyone that is not on the whitelist to enter your server so it'll keep it private in a sense so how do you add someone to a white a whitelist you open up this text file called whitelist and if you don't have this then that means you have to update your minecraft server to the newest version so that's why we went to the minecraft website and downloaded the latest version and now you add someone to the whitelist by uh, typing their name in and if you have multiple people which you probably will you're gonna separate it by uh, lines so line one line two for another player you know player two player three and so on and you're gonna have to make sure you save it out And now those players, you know, Noah QW, player two and player three, they can all play on the server. But let's say player two wasn't on this whitelist, they wouldn't be able to log into the server and play. This prevents, uh, you know, people who spam or destroy things, people you don't trust, um, off the server. All right, and your next step is um, assuming that you want your friends to connect you know they're not on your same local area connection you're gonna have to do something called port forwarding now if you're a subscriber of mine you probably have this memorized by now because in all these other minecraft server setup videos we go over this so you're gonna click add custom service uh, I'm just gonna name it minecraft this service name can be anything and if you can't find port forwarding uh, in your router setup menu, uh, actually, let me explain how I even got here. No, I'm going a little too fast. Go to command prompt and type in IP config. And then go up to the very top and look for your default gateway. This right here, this one right here, 192.168.1.1, is what you type into your browser to access your uh, router's control or configuration uh, panel or as they say router management or manager so then you're gonna go uh, down to the tab that says advanced or port forwarding you know it's different for each router uh, so you're just gonna have to look around and sadly uh, there are cases where the router doesn't doesn't offer uh, port forwarding in that case you're probably gonna have to buy a new router uh, 
to get this option. So go to port forwarding slash port triggering. It could be called port triggering uh, for some routers. It all depends. So hit add custom service. And like I said before, it can be anything. Make sure make sure the service type is TCP slash uh, UDP. And then the starting port, it's 25565. And then the ending port, there's only one port that we're opening. And then the server IP address. Now this computer on the local area connections IPv4 address is 192.168.1.5. And so we're going to hit dot five. So what this is doing is it's telling my computer on this local area connection to open the 25565 port number. All right. And obviously this can be different. Uh, you can change your port. Let's say a different application is using this port number. Like you had a Age of Empire uh, server running and it's using that port number. You know, you can go into your server.properties and you can change that port number uh, here. It can be uh, port 1 all the way up to 65,534. So you're going to hit apply. Let me close that. And you just port forwarded that port and now it's open to the public now this doesn't mean you're going to be hacked uh, you know they're only they can only breach your system depending on what uh, sort of software is running on that port so now that you've uh, opened that port you're going to start your server I'm going to hit run. And it's preparing the area, obviously. I'm just going to close this. Alright, so it's done. Now open up your client, which is what you use to play the game on. Now this is called the client here, and this is called the server. The server is what serves the, serves the content to all the clients, okay? So hit login. Alright, and let me delete these. Let me double check that my Oh that's right. My client I believe needs to be updated. So let me pause the video and update my client. I apologize for uh, that. So now that the client is updated, we can now connect to uh, our private server. So I'm gonna just log in and hit add server and see PR serve, which stands for a Minecraft private server. 192.168.1.5. If you're connecting to it via to your local network that the server is running on, uh, which you most likely are because you are the admin, then you're gonna use your IPv4 address. However, if your friend is connecting to it and he's not on your local area connection, which chances are, unless he's playing in the same house you are, uh, he's not, then he's going to connect via to your internet IP address, which you can find at cmyip.com. Now this right here is my IP address, which is kind of weird because I move states and it's still the same or is it I'm not sure it might be anyways uh, and then you're gonna give you're gonna uh, put colon 255 oops, 255 65 which is the port number all right so 
The reason there's so many bars, I have four bars out of five. I should have five out of five, but I don't. Okay, so I'm just going to join the server and demonstrate that it is working. As you can see, I am playing on my private server. Now let me remove my name from the whitelist just to show you that it is private and if you're not on the whitelist then you can't play on it. So I'm just gonna remove my name, save it, close it, and I think you have to restart the server. So we'll just uh, stop. Start it again. I could be wrong. No, yeah, you do have to restart the server. You do. Okay. So open up your client again, and you shouldn't be able to connect to it. As you can see, it said failed to log in, bad login, which is an error message you get uh, when you aren't on the whitelist. So there you have it guys, that's how you create a Minecraft private server. Thanks for watching. Uh, for more Minecraft videos, make sure to subscribe and rate, like, and comment. And favorite. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you next time.